Hi everyone, today we're going to be using the area model in order to solve a multiplication word problem. So let's just get right into it. So as I look here, I know that my word problem is telling me, Zenon earns $142 per shift at his new job. During a pay period, he works 12 shifts. What would his pay be for that period? So I'm thinking in my head right now that my answer is going to have to increase, meaning that my number is going to be larger than 142 and larger than 12 because I know that if I'm talking about how much money he's making for those periods of work, it's going to have to be a larger amount than what he would make per or in one shift. So I'm thinking I have $142 per shift. I know that 12 shifts are worked and I'm trying to figure out what would his pay be for that period. So in order to kind of remind myself of what my uh, what I'm trying to solve for, I'm going to write my sentence out first. So I'm going to say blank would be Zenon's pay for that period, period. And that's just kind of going to help me remember what it is that I'm solving for. So as I said earlier, my next step is going to be used to use the area model in order to find my product. So whenever I use the area model, I'm actually writing my numbers in what we call expanded form so that it's a little bit easier for me to multiply. So I'm looking at 142 first. So in order to write that in expanded form, I'm going to have 100 plus 40 plus two. I think that actually looked like a two, hopefully. There we go. And now 12, to write that in expanded form, I'm going to go on my other side of what will be my rectangle. And 12 in expanded form is going to be 10 plus two. There we go. And now I'm going to draw out my shape or my rectangle, this is what I'm actually going to be finding the area of. So now I'm going to split this into one, two, three pieces lengthwise. So I'm going to have one, two, and three, and then I have to split it in half the other way so that I actually get all of my place values. So now I just find the area of each part of my rectangle. And in order to actually show place values, I can make it so that these actually represent the size of the number that I'm going to have. So now I'm thinking 10 times 100, that's going to give me 1,000. There we go. And then 10 times 40, that's going to give me 400. And then 10 times two, that's going to give me 20. 20, <laughs> let's see if we can actually make it look like a two. There we go. So two times 100, that's going to give me 200. Two times 40 is 80. And then two times two is four. Now I found the area of each part of this whole, this whole representing the total amount of money that Zenon makes in the period while working 12 shifts, getting $142 per a shift. So my last step is just going to be to add up each of these numbers. So I'm going to put them in order from um, greatest to least, and then I'm going to be marking them off as I do so. So I'll start off with 1,000. So that number is done. And then my next number is going to be 400. And then my next number is 200. And then I'm going to have 80, 20, and then finally, the number four. Okay, 
So now when I add all of those numbers together, I know 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 <laughs> plus 4 is going to give me 4. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 8 plus 2 is going to give me 10. So I'm going to write my 0, regroup my 1. 4 plus 2 is 6. Remembering that 1 that I regrouped is going to give me 7. And then 1 plus nothing is going to give me 1. So now we've just solved this answer using the area model. So my last step is to go back to where I originally wrote my sentence, and I'm going to fill in that amount. And I'm going to remember that I'm working with money here, so I want to make sure that I put the dollar sign in there. So I'm going to have 1,704 would be Zenon's pay for that period. And that's how you would use the area model in order to find the answer to a multiplication word problem. Thanks for watching.